Did Joe Coy just bomb at the Golden Globes because he was Asian or because of other reasons? Anyways, the internet is in a debate. Yes, make me laugh, ambiguous Asian comedian that I'm unaware of. Oh, you've lost my attention. Now the internet's going to talk about it. Andrew, this is going viral, perhaps more viral than I ever would have anticipated because who cares? But apparently the internet cares. So we are going to talk about Joe Coy, quote unquote, bombing hosting at the Golden Globes. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. But you know what? Has some flavor bombs. Smala Sauce. This is not bombing because it's actually a big hit. Check it out at smalasauce.com. I'm not going to lie. I thought that this, Andrew, might even be a psyop how many people are talking about this. Well, is it because uh, it's just so relatable to bomb in front of celebrities? That, David. It is the Golden Globes. This is a Hollywood night. You know, it was a big year for Hollywood. The theaters kind of came back with Oppie and Barbie and, you, you know. You are more tapped into this world than me, so you got to tell me. I'm, I'm because just, I couldn't be, I was shocked that there was this many, like, I was like, is this just the news uh, of the day? This is and, what we're talking and then, about? you know, there were some big movies this year. And then also Joe Coy, who's Asian, ended up hosting the Golden Globes. So I think he's, was he, was he the first Asian host? You know what I mean? He's an Asian comedian. A lot of his fan base is Asian. So anyways, we got to talk about it, David. So I guess from your performance and we might run a cl some, we'll run the video down here, but we can't run the clip or else we can't monetize this video. But I guess, David, it, it didn't go well. How do you think he went? Actually, what grade would you give it? David Fung, okay. what would you give it, David? I think in terms of virality, the news is giving it a D to a F. If you actually watch the clips, the monologue, the monologue, if you actually watch the monologues and some of the in-between hosting, I give it a C. Plus. Okay. A C plus. But I think that Ricky Gervais set the bar so high. And the fact is, Joe Coy is not really in his element. The Golden Globes is a lot of people that are from high society, probably white, old money, used to ruling the world socially. And Joe Coy is more of a blue collar comedian. Mm -hmm. So there's already a fundamental mismatch. I'm not saying Ricky Gervais is not from a blue collar background, but he presents as almost like the roaster of the Royals. Whereas this, I, I think Joe Coy, it's almost like his fan base and his eminence is so far away from these Hollywood Royals. They couldn't even respect the jokes that hit. Mm. So, I mean, okay. I think there's a lot of people to blame, Andrew. Do you blame the writers? Because anytime there's something like this that goes down, there's a ton of other writers. He did have writers on the show. Uh, he, he did kind of say that in the middle of his set, which kind of signified that it wasn't going that well. There's a was lot of industry talk about how he was somewhere around the 15th host that they asked like soft asked at least right and that's why he only had 10 days to perform to prepare which is not a long time i'll be honest joe coy himself this is the self-blame part andrew was very nervous and almost felt like he was kind of being insecure possibly that the audience didn't know who he was right right and i think that he could have done something about that i do agree that a lot of the audience was not very familiar with his work because he also didn't introduce himself. I thought even a joke about that would have been funny. Right. Like, hey. And even calling himself Asian, I think, because here's the thing, Joe Coy is half Asian, but he always says that he's full Asian, but I don't think everybody can easily identify him as full Asian, to be honest. Um, do you think, let's be honest here, there was also talk more on the Asian pages, and I'm not saying I fully agree with them, that people were kind of being racist because they don't want to let somebody who's not a super famous white or black guy roast them. To their faces yes i do think it's not necessarily because he is asian i think it's because he's not that well known to them partially because he's asian like joe coy he does have a bunch of netflix he has been doing stand-up comedy in la for decades i think he has six netflix specials in the past four so, years so i think i think people in the room some people in the room knew who he was but did not actually is not are not a fan of his work like when ricky gervais goes up or chris rock hosts something everybody knows their bits everybody is a fan of theirs of some work but a lot of people did not know joe coy and i think that was part of the issue yeah i think ultimately one thing that people got to understand about humor is humor, it is the joke, but it's the delivery, but also how you perceive that comedian in their own status or their own like, cultural positioning like, within that sphere or realm. Like if Meryl Streep were to go up and make the same jokes Joe Coy did, it would be ridiculously funny. But because Joe Coy is like, to them, they don't really know him and he is acting nervous. I thought the jokes were actually decently written, but they just weren't hitting. Like, yeah. to be honest. Right, right. You're saying the jokes, you give them a B, even though the performance may have turned out 
a C and perceived in the media as a D. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I think that Joe Coy's most memorable bits of his comedy are about his Filipino mother. Uh, Joseph, Joseph, you know, doing that bit. And let's be honest, that is what he's known for. And he's gotten wildly successful off of that. But he's not like a genius roaster. That's not what he's known as. Right. And, he's, and he doesn't host award shows. Yeah. And hosting is different than just doing stand up, by the way. Hosting, you kind of have to yeah. teeter this, this, this weird space in between being humble enough to be the host, but also you want to roast everybody. So you're kind of like, on this seesaw. I'm not gonna lie, for sure, that Golden Globes crowd is super different than his it's typical tough, tough. theater stadium that he sells out in Hawaii. Somebody said they should have got Cat Williams, they should have got Andrew Schultz. Um, both these guys are super popping on the internet right now. Obviously, Cat just gave the crazy interview, Schultz has been popular. They're not gonna get either of these guys, they're, right? They're not gonna be asked, and I think they're these both these guys are a little bit too rogue and outside of the industry. Um, somebody said it just ultimately wasn't as bad as everybody wanted it to be. It literally is just something to go viral for the day. Right. I think, unfortunately for Joe Coy, he's getting used as kind of a sacrificial lamb in this sense. Because- You mean just for like no. internet fodder to go viral? Because people need to talk about the Golden Globes. Do people even care about the Golden Globes? David, what is the Golden Globes? What do right. they, is it the Oscars? Right. How come, it's no, it's actually awards for things that are not movies, right? Is that what it is? It's a series. I just like, know Beef won and Ali Wong and yeah, Steven Universe. See, see Beef is not a movie. It was called a limited series. Yeah, you can you give awards to like series and TV shows at the Golden Globes. I agree with you. But other than that, people, I agree with you that people are searching for something to make it viral, whether it's people bombing or people getting slapped at the Oscars. Nobody cares about the movies anymore. Like nobody's like really like they didn't win no, for best no. cinematography. Listen, I think Oppenheimer and you know, a lot of these shows and movies, they deserve awards, but do I need to see the award get presented? Or does someone just need to tell me, hey, Oppenheimer won 12 awards this year. Great. Everything, every, oh, Beef won, guys. Right. I'm like, oh, good. Beef won. Congrats, Allie. I didn't watch it. I don't care to see your speech. Um, What do you think about people just saying, man, I was surprised that a pro comedian was that nervous? I was a little shocked that he, you know. He, I guess he was backtracking the jokes that didn't hit and things like that. Yeah, that was the most nervous I've ever seen him. You know, I've watched a lot of Joe Coy clips. Um, somebody were just saying like, man, they were just offended that an Asian guy was roasting him. Some people were saying, mm. man, you can just tell that he's only funny when he does his middle school humor roasting his mom. These, of course, are people saying his career is over. How much do you think realistically this is impacting his long-term career prospects? Because by the way, like, respect Joe Coy. Shout out to him. He did a lot for Filipinos. I think he repped for Asians as well, Pan-Asians as mm -hmm. well. I actually really like his earlier material. He has a joke about people saying that Asians can't drive, even though all the best cars are made in Asia. Mm -hmm. I love that bit that he did because I actually thought there was like shreds of truth to it. I guess <clears> what I'm saying is some people are like, oh man, his movie didn't do as well. His TV pilot got canceled. Now he's bombing at the Golden Globe. So in a way, his public profile is big as it's ever been, but I guess then there's also bigger... Swings and misses. I think that the only thing, this does not affect him going on tour. I think it still in a way helps him because it's still got his name out there. You say even bombing. Yeah, no, to his fan base, I think it's cool that he hosted the Golden Globes to people who already knew him. And I think to people who didn't know them, at least they know his name now. Um, but, and by the way, I'm not like talking about Joe Coy like he's a nobody, but he's not like a gigantic star. He's not on the Chris Rock level. Well, I consider him a little bit more like a Russell Peters or yeah. a Sebastian Maliscano, where Russell Peters, a large part of his fan base is Indian and Chinese. Sebastian Maliscano is mostly Italian Americans going to see him. Joe Coy, Asians and mostly Filipinos. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I do think it kind of, I guess it, it kind of lets him know like, hey, Joe, I don't know, maybe maybe you're, maybe this is the peak of your mainstreamness. Like, maybe you don't appeal to as many white people or black people as you thought you did. Do you think this is going to be sort of like a Chris Rock moment where Chris Rock is able to sell a huge special off how he got slapped versus, like, Joe Coy can go back to his fan base or the Asian community or whatever internet fan base he may have and be able to draw from this material about all the comments that have been generated about him? Uh, I don't know. I actually don't think so. I actually think it's more that... People needed something to write about the Golden Globes about because, like, yeah. maybe nothing really happened.
Last question. What do you think about all the comments where some of the, and I'm not going to say where they are, but most, more, I'm not going to lie, most of the comments were white, where people were like, see, this is what happens when you do DEI. It's Asians for the past couple years. They're giving all the Asians the Oscars, all the Asians the Golden Globes. It started with Parasite. Now they got Asian hosts, but they're not good. I'm letting you know. They just check diversity boxes. There was a, I've read like maybe 50 of those comments. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I don't think he was the first pick for the host. I'm sure there were some white people that they wanted to ask before that. Um, maybe he was the fifth pick. Maybe he was the 10th pick. Maybe he was the 15th pick. I don't know. You know what it is? Regardless of how it turns out, I do not think Joe Coy did as bad as what the media is saying. Yeah. He could have did better. I'm supporting Asians getting more reps. Yeah. But yes, you hope that the, all the reps are home runs, like Jeremy Lin's first five games in the league. But that's just not how, how it's always going to work. But you know what? Actually, you know what? To round this all out, my overall takeaway, it's actually not bad for Joe Coy. Think of how many articles just got written about Joe Coy. And when people go back and watch the monologue, I think a lot of people are going to watch it and be like, it wasn't that bad. Like people who missed it and read the article was like, oh, Joe Coy bombed. What did he say? Uh, and then it was like, eh, he did okay. Some of those jokes were kind of funny, but it's just the reaction. It didn't feel that way. Yeah, it didn't people feel wasn't good. feeling him, but it doesn't mean that that Robert De Niro yeah. joke about impregnating no, somebody was super No, that CGI funny. joke was, I think him calling Jared Leto uh, hot Jesus was funny. He said uh, he had some jokes about uh, Oprah versus Angela Bass. I mean, there was some stuff that I thought was funny. Honestly, I thought it was kind of funny, but not like... It wasn't a home run. It wasn't a home run. But now, because it wasn't a home run, it's like he struck out. But he didn't see, he got he got a single and a double. I guess what I'm saying is I'm just surprised that everybody loves to dis discuss like a no, like a I, I wasn't even a train wreck. It wasn't even I, that I bad. think Joe Coy getting discussed is not bad for his career right now on this level. You know, there's so many articles that come out about it. So I think hey. it's good. Shout out to Joe Coy for for hosting. That's a hard gig. So. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. I'm almost surprised that this many people are talking about it, but it's 2023. Maybe people need something like high school, like to distract themselves from all the things and trends happening in the world. Let us know what you think. Um, until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. Be out. Peace. Peace.